Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. You know, Kara, according to Leanne Moriarty, apples never fall. This is the Great Day Book Club book. Yes, and just go to our Great Day Connecticut Facebook page and you can read along with us. You can read along with us, but if apples never fall, they certainly can be picked and it's gonna be a great weekend to pick some apples. Let's take a look at our Doppler. Hi everybody, good afternoon. Our Doppler scans the state dry. We are looking at the tropics real quick. I just wanna bring your attention to Sam and Victor. Sam is such a menacing force. Thank goodness it's out in the open waters of the Atlantic. Tropical storm uh, force winds are expected in Bermuda as it scoots on by, but that's about it. They've got tropical storm warnings up for Bermuda, but it stays to the east and it continues to fall apart and move to the north and to the east. And and more of the same for Victor. This storm also falls apart as it heads towards the north and east. You can see it just becomes an area of low pressure by Wednesday of next week. So no concerns for us. That's good news. Look at this. Old Saybrook. Hello. Hello, Old Saybrook. Hello, Hartford. A couple of puffy whites out there with a temperature of 65 degrees. And we are looking at New Haven. More of the same. Equally as nice. It is just absolutely gorgeous out there. Now, the temperature in Litchfield, a little on the cool side. We'll sneak into the low 60s by later on this afternoon. Stores 60 right now, 62 in East Hartford and West Haven at 61. The numbers will continue to climb into the mid to upper 60s today, but the dew points remain very comfortable in the mid to upper 40s. Here are some more temperatures for you. 59 and two locales, Salisbury and Waterbury. That's a little cool. Yeah, you might want a light jacket out there or a sweatshirt, uh, but we are doing a little bit better than yesterday. We're up anywhere from three to five degrees warmer than where we were just 24 hours ago, and the dew points are comfortable again in the mid to upper 40s. Those winds are out of the northwest, which is a great direction for us, providing us with that dry, crisp autumn air, anywhere from seven to 12, 12 miles an hour sustained, it might be a little gust to 15 miles an hour, but not a big deal. And it's a gorgeous day, a chilly night ahead. I've uh, given you the heads up that it's going to be a chilly night and then the weekend looks good. Satellite and radar, there's nothing on it. Early warning future cast, there's also really nothing on it. Again, a couple of puffy clouds out there. Tonight will be completely clear. Temperatures are going to drop into the mid to upper 30s in the normally colder sections of the state, low 40s everywhere else. And then tomorrow during the day, picture perfect day. Even Sunday is looking good at this point with rain holding off until late at night into early Monday morning. Daytime highs today climb into the mid to upper 60s, mostly sunny, seasonably cool. Look at the overnight lows. Grab that blanket. You're going to need it. Upper 30s, low 40s, clear and chilly. And your seven day forecast includes another great day tomorrow with a warm up Sunday, increasing clouds late, late, late in the day with some showers late at night into Monday. Monday looks unsettled with periods of rain. Tuesday showers and drizzle and then Wednesday and Thursday back to the partly to mostly cloudy skies with temperatures near 70 degrees. So we are going to warm it up Wednesday and Thursday, but it looks like a really good weekend care to get out there and enjoy.